Low light detection. Can't be good. Put it on nine, that's my number. Put it on nine, that's why I'm elevating too. We finna save the world, people. They say what? In the book that I read, they say put the horse on missions that's impossible. Watch me lay him down. Stiff neck, everybody. Stiff neck. Why you sitting there watching the TV? You go, <laughs> the aliens here. There ain't no aliens. It's that man right there. That look like alien to you? Is this his dress to make him look like an alien? Hmm? I'm just fucking with y'all. Or am I? Hmm. Watch out now. Anyway, King of America, Emperor. I forgot. I'm the Emperor. And as the Emperor, let's get into this. The Emperor says, uh, today is uh, May the 16th. Time will be 1022 when I start at the clock. And uh, we finna drop it, all right? I'm the emperor, right? I gotta be as the emperor. I keep thinking that's a king. Not bad. Emperor says that the world is free. Everybody. The emperor may look like he's getting, but the emperor is serious. Like the serious son. Serious A and B. And any other ones they are, he's that serious. I mean, incineration. What is it called? Incineration. You understand what I'm saying? Supernova. Gangster. Alright? The Emperor is here, dog. You know, we switch bodies. Avatar type shit, so to say. You know, I come back, y'all try to name me something else and try to brainwash me to believe that shit and then I wake up and kick your ass all over again. How many other times y'all want to do this, we can do it. It don't matter to me. Because I will always be me. And you will never change me. I will, I will always find out and gravitate towards the overstanding and understand that meat is not good for you. And then I can eat this and be energized and have bomb dreams and control myself and my whole body and my sexual organs and everything by eating this food. And meat is dogging me. So I would already figure that out. Remember the movie, the um, Eddie Murphy, uh, another Aries brother, uh, uh, the movie, um, The Golden Child. They said they had to surround the Golden Child with evil on all four sides. Which means if he go this way, they evil too. Once he get into it and find out about the whole religion, he go over there and fuck with them. They evil too. Once he find out the religion and what they're doing to him, they go over there, he fuck, find out they fucking with his heart and some shit. Go over here, they trying to take his whole brain. You see what I'm saying? So it's like he's surrounded by evil on all four sides. And neither one of them can live in a free world. Neither one of them wants what he wants. A free world for all. Let's work it out. And let's make it work. Because what's happening is that there's a group of people on this planet. People, spirits, souls, whatever. Whoever it is on this planet is telling y'all that y'all cannot walk freely. Y'all have to pay to live. Y'all cannot be free. It cannot be... Somebody is walking up to you telling you, hey, man, you know, everything's free, man. We just love each other, help each other, fight, food, feed each other. Y'all be having fun, party, build shit, study together. We just be having fun together, man. Right? But remember, what I'm telling you is happening. But it's happening with the same group of people who doesn't want the other group of people to feel the way they feel. Because if you felt as though everything was yours, that bus was yours, that car was yours, your uncle made that, your auntie made that. If you felt that inside, it would change your perspective about writing on the wall. You wouldn't even want to write on the wall. That's my grandmama house. And they ain't writing on my grandmama. My grandmama stole. Yeah, she on Walmart. Well, yeah, you writing on Walmart. That's stupid, man. Let's go put the... You would think differently if you felt it was yours. So as long as you feel that it's someone else's, that is the chaos that will destroy all of us. If we feel that that land is not our land and that's someone else's land that we're stepping on and that grass is not our grass, 
then we will burn it and we will piss and we will shit and we will do whatever to that grass we feel that we have to do. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a psychological twist that they're playing on our minds. And we have to be the ones to unlock that light cold lockdown that my brother Valentine was telling us about. You're being put on light cold lockdown. Told you I was asleep. I didn't know y'all was talking in the married brains and all of this shit. I didn't even know nobody can hear me if I'm talking in my head. I ain't know that shit. Since I was since I was 25, 27. I ain't find out that I get 27. What? Everybody can hear me? Oh, that's fucked up. So they I know that I said a lot of shit to a lot of motherfuckers. They they listen, look, they don't want to tell everybody, just don't tell them we hear them. I'm just going off, you son of a bitch. Fart head fucker, kick you in your ass. <laughs> Mama, you sitting <laughs> So, you know, jokes on me. Hey, whatever. But at least that's a good way to see the person. If you don't let them know, then you can see who they are. You can see their thoughts. You can see everything. Just let them go. But if you let them know, then it'd be hard to see them because now it's time to hide shit. Now I'm talking like this. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She went over there and then she came back and then it was another way that she did some shit and came all the way around and then spent down and got low. You see what I'm saying? Then I'd be disguising and hiding and shit. But what is, who's talking? What's, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? So it's good for that to happen. So, you know, but anywho, we just running on this one. This is a part two. We got to talking about energy, frequency, health, distractions, male, feminine, energy wars, getting the land, strong unity, getting rid of vanity, uh, having the trust, creating the laws and orders, the youth, nature, meditation, water, natural versus, and natural versus the computer age, living natural versus the computer age, living and being a robot. Okay, so the real big thing I say is this one, the laws and orders. You know, there's got to be a way that you can take everything down, every law that you can ever conceive to be a law out of all of the books that y'all so-called brothers and sisters is reading and dissecting and bringing to the forefront. You should be able to take your mind and go in there and take every law and put it down and put your swag on it, turn it into English, turn it into a... Uh, to baby language so the people can understand and understand the law why and we why we do and why we don't do this and that. If we can establish the laws, then we can go. Because once you create a, 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 a anything, the people that look like you are going to say, hey, they look like me. I know I'm with y'all, but they got it going on. I want to be with them. This is the program that you want to put into your children's mind because the war is against you versus your children. Your children are being pulled in a direction which, let me not call them your children, your cells, your new shells that you're going to be helping conduct when you pass away. You're going to pour it back through the planets that's with inside of the children. Now they're holding the planets and they're the deities of the planet. So now you have to teach them how to take care of their planets because those are the same planets that you're going to come back through. You understand and understand and understand what I'm saying? You're going to come back through the same planets that's within your child. That's why your eyes come out like your, your, your son. Your son's eyes. Ooh, you got mama's eyes. You got your daddy. Eyes. Why is the eyes the same? Because that is the way you're going to come back through. The eye, the serpent eyes. You see what I'm saying? But if you teach them to defile their body, now it's not only you coming back around, but now you have to worry about a recessive or any anything else that's not even part of where you came from coming back through there. Because now the child has defiled their bodies and opened up ports. Now they're having sex while one is out and drunk and the other one is drunk. So both bodies are open for demons to have sex with each other. And the host of the body is no longer important. They're no longer a part of it. 
Now, these two people are a part of a whole orgy that's going around all around the world at the same time to conduct energy, not to have a star seed, not to have a star child, not to bring forth another God, but to give energy from your life source, from your genitals, from the sperm is the spirit, like my brother said, Jesus Christ, from the spirit, the sperm, from all of that, they want that from you because their energy is not as strong as yours, and they never wanted to tell you this because this is the biggest secret that was ever kept, the difference between recessive and melanin, period. That's why they've been having to dial you down and make you a lower grade. So they can control you. Remember, look on the, the, the thing, XXX, type in Chatterbait. Go on Chatterbait, Chatterbait. Go on there and see what's going on. So when you see all of these things that's going on on Chatterbait, you can see and notice that, wait a minute, I don't see a lot of black people doing that shit. I don't see no melanin. You might see one or two, but none, none. So you would see, you would say, wait a minute. So these ones are easier to control. But these ones are hard head and they all feel that they own to their own law. Even in banking. When you get the, the brothers together, you how many people want to be the chief? This is telling you something about the strength in the melanin. They all want to be the chief. But in order for all of these people to be the chief, they have to all come into the same overstanding and understanding. They have to come to the same law and order. If you can all come to the same law and order and agree to why that is the law and why that is the order, then all of you can be chiefs the way you're supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? Nobody's over nobody. You see what I'm saying? But you will notice through the TVs, they can be manipulated to do anything. The one that got down with the donkey, the one that got down with the uh, the chicken, the one that got down with the uh, the, the, the pig, uh, barnyard animals. It's called barnyard animals. Type it up. There's, there is no melanin in there doing that shit. You can have a smoker on the corner, on the street, smoked out, and be like, man, I got a pot full of rocks. Why don't you suck this dog's dick? He will sober up fast. Nigga, fuck you. I suck your dick, though. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? We have a strength on our mind, a will that stays there. It's being manipulated and we're being crazy because your energy and your planets are being extracted from you from the sounds of the from the sounds of the city the city has a sound it has a vibration and it's not harmonious with nature the birds told me so it is not harmonious so when you hear the birds chirping you know they're kind of like helping you fight they're giving you the energy that you do not have in your body to combat the energy that's going in places in your body that's affecting them. Every animal is hooked to a certain planet, is hooked to a certain frequency. And if the planet is fucked up, which lies in the people which he told you, he gave you realm, world rule over all animals and fowls of the sea. Meaning that it's something in your third eye that's more powerful than their eye. When I told you what I did to the doll, I charged up off the sun real quick, looked at the sun for about 10, 15 minutes. Blink checked it, make sure a big ass firelight was firing. I hit him right in the third eye. And the dog bent down and went down to the ground. And I was like, damn, I didn't know I could do that. And I'm not telling you what I did to human beings, but <laughs> shit, this motherfucker will blow your ass away when the body is conducted and it's all in order and everything is lighting up. When you close your eyes, let me tell you when your body is right, when you slim down and you close your eyes, you're supposed to see blue shit shooting everywhere, blue lights going like this. If you don't see no blue lights when you close your eyes, your, your body is not on. You're not on. Because those blue lights shoot up. They don't, should only take you about five, ten minutes of breathing. 
and then holding your breath <gasps> to open it up to be able to see all over the world. They're taking that from you, my peoples, and they're using it by getting drunk. Ah, they get real drunk and fucked up and try to look through here. But that's not how you do it, man. That's not, It's naturally connected to you. They have to get fucked up to get connected to it. And that is the Christ that saves them. But it's not saving them. They're taking it from you, motherfuckers. You got to remember, you have a group of people since back in the days has forced you to like them. You got to remember this, people. These are facts. They forced you to like them. That means a person on the same earth as you Gathering information, gathering knowledge, building shit, then creating a university, a, a fun playhouse, and leaving you outside to watch them play. And then say, hey, you want to play? You got to do something for me. Come on over here. Is that your daughter? What's her name? You see what I'm saying? This has never stopped. As long as money exists, this problem will expand. And to y'all stand up, take yourselves out of the game, take your blackness out of the game, take your minds out of the game, and create your own heaven. And if anyone on this earth stands in front of you creating your paradise, you do what you have to do. You understand me, people? And I know that you will win because of the strength the strength and the pain of all your ancestors that's locked inside of that tornado and that earthquake that lies in the palms and the feet of you. Both palms, both feet is your power once you learn how to use it. Remember, my brothers and sisters, they're keeping you riding, they're keeping your feet off the ground. They're making sure you have a car because they don't want your feet to touch the ground. And if you jump out the car, they make sure you got on some rubber shoes. So your feet don't touch the ground. We have a lot of work to do, people. Man, a lot of work. But anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, 1740. I just, you know, I'm just kind of freestyling everything, man. This was the topic. Spirits, hey, man, write this shit down, man. And just kind of go through it. You kind of know what you want to talk about. But just kind of like write them down. So energy, frequencies, once again. We got to learn how to work the frequencies. Y'all know it's a frequency war. Y'all know clicks and groups got different frequencies. But you don't know who the head of your frequency is. And you don't even know if your frequency is a pure frequency. When you're dealing with human beings. And you're talking and having conversations. You don't know which frequency is pure. But there is pure frequencies out there. But there's a frequency that's connected to the portal and connected to some shit that had to do with the hanging of all your peoples. That frequency has never been eradicated. So where the fuck do you think it's at? That same spirit has never lost. Still winning to this day. So where the fuck do you think that spirit is at? That spirit has nothing to do with your spirit. It's trying to camouflage itself and blend that spirit with y'all spirit y'all ain't got no spirit like that that's why you would think like damn something is wrong you got the lebron the kobe they big but how did we beat them you took away their heart this is directly connected to your heart when they took away their heart they thought when you take away the heart of the people, that's why they got you to come into the church and to kill yourself. Those who love the body shall lose the body. Those who hate the body shall keep the body for eternal life. Overstand that passage. And then people want to come into the pubs. You mean hey, you want to go, you want to get a drink? First thing, hey man, let's go grab a drink. Let me get into you. Let me get into your inside. Let me get in there. I got some shit I want to drop off. People drop packages off on people. 
package demon because they need a connection. If it's on them, then they got to deal with what's on them. But if they can go drop what's on them, remember they're getting attacked at night in the spirit realm. That's why a lot of them don't sleep. So they got shit. They, they got to get off. But when they give it back to you, it's like most of us, it doesn't do nothing to us. But the program spirits does something to us. And that's got something to do with the acting and the movies as being. Those are program spirits. Those are the ones that have something to do with keeping the game running. Because that is the maverick spirit that broke loose inside of the meditational realm who knew where it was from in the, okay, that's just like saying a day walker. A night walker is someone who, that's they like, I mean, that's where they live at. So you can't say nothing. That's their home. This is earth, melanin, heart connected to this, connected to the bird. It's normal. It's already connected through the melanin, right? But if you're not connected, so now it's like I'm a day walker, meaning that I can meditate and go into that realm and confuse it and fuck it up and get it to feed me in the physical realm through the actions of the people. You see what I'm saying? Through the actions of the people, I can get them to feed me that that good shit and then throw my program spirits, which is coming through the TV through the blinking of the eyes of the newscaster. Why is this bitch blinking so much? That's all I want to say. You on the news, what the fuck is all this blinking and shit for? Why you talking and shit? Oh my geez, y'all, y'all, like, well, y'all know why, it's, why it's, what's going on. Sending programs and sending frequencies through your subconscious mind. Why you in there cooking the TV plan? She on the news, this shit, all this action has happened. You're slipping up and she's all into your family. They can come into your camera live. This computer is a beast. When you go to sleep, make sure you shut your phone off. Because I shut my phone off a few times and it felt like my whole brain went off with the phone. I hit the power button and my whole brain said, Phew. I was like, damn. Shit's like my shit was connected to the phone. That's how close they're trying to get the HD. You need your light. If you ready, if you're trying to uh, fight back, you need your light to be as pure as the sounds of the birds because they do not like the chirping of them birds. They will not tell you. That's another big secret. They're not going to tell you. They don't like the chirping of the birds. They don't like that energy when it hits them. Right down to your left big toe, right on the left one. When the bird, little birds chirp, 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 chirp. Picture a light flashing like this. And then look around at the people. And look at them, watch they all look at you. What's that? That's the energies of gods. Y'all got this bullshit energy. And it will purify you. They can, it can take you here. And, you know, there's other stories of... You meditating and the bird will let you use its body to fly around and look through its eyes while you're flying through the city. You see what I'm saying? You in the actual bird's body, but you're flying. And then you wake up back and you... It's shit, but it's connected to nature and it has to do with the purity. We have to take out all of this shit they gave us. Everything they gave you, put it back. The potato chips with the crack cocaine, with the powder cocaine on there, with the salt... Once you mix salt and powder cocaine, think what people can do that don't like you. They seen what the crack did. Now, what if we sprinkle powder cocaine in the MSG and the, or put it on the potato chips? Make these motherfuckers eat because we know facts. They are weaker when they are fat. The people we fucking went to war with a long time ago? None of them was fat. They ran and they jumped just like the Dogons do today. Jumping. When it's a celebration, we all jump. Because we know it has something to do with the brain, the movement, the chakra, everything. It even helps you think by jumping. Now, how many of you motherfuckers jump? Y'all don't never jump. Y'all walk lightly. You walk lightly because you're walking in fear every day. 
because you're afraid to die and you have so many connections because it's like a contradiction the way I look at it because you say I'm willing to die for my people and I love my people but you're not willing to change the situations to suit the vibrations of love something is wrong my peoples I don't care what nobody say I don't care how they say it I don't care how they play it something is wrong you cannot you cannot, man, say that you care for your people, man. And not willing to change the situation and understand and understand that it would be a better place if we just lived freely and built. It's, it's like talking to retarded folks, man. Talking to retarded folks. Because it's like, look, man, you like, look, man. These people are telling you. You was born free, right? See the bird? They don't pay. They go take a dip. They go eat when it's time to eat. Nature feeds for all of them. They die and they come back. No problem. There's somebody on the planet telling you that you have to pay to live. And your babies have to have shots and injections of shit that you don't even know what your baby being injected with. You are being controlled, sir, ma'am. You are not free. They are making toys and giving you the scraps of their toys. Like some of y'all finally getting a Jaguar that you always wanted and you like 40 years old. You've been wanting a Jaguar. You finally got it, but you like 40. And the Jag is like a 2002. They got you way behind chasing the garbage and still you Bought that 2002 Jack. You don't even know how to build it. So, they're still 25 years ahead of you. You're looking at them like they're regular people. But the truth and the overstanding to everything is that you do not know how much these people 